Hello friends! Welcome to Incredible Innovations. In this episode of Incredible Innovations we will see how the United Kingdom 6th generation fighter plane is coming along. What new technologies are going to be part of this new fighter plane? But before moving ahead, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the future notification. We are living in a world where air superiority is defined by F-35, the whole world envy its capabilities. And when you envy something like F-35, as a country you don't have any other option. You have to make a better fighter plane, in pursuit of air superiority. In July 2018, the United Kingdom announced the design of a plane which they have named Tempest. Tempest will be one of the first six generation fighters. The Tempest has many partner companies. The development of Tempest will pave the way for the future development of technologies. Rolls-Royce is responsible for providing advanced power and propulsion systems. Rolls-Royce is working on a new state-of-the-art engine, which not only provides more power but also more electricity to power future energy weapons and other systems. Tempest will be carrying laser and other energy weapons, advanced sensors, avionics, and swarming technologies. That's why the new engine will feature embedded electrical starter generators. The new plane will generate its electricity itself. The electrical embedded starter generator will save space and provide a large amount of electrical power required by future fighters. The engine has a new energy storage system. There is also an intelligent power and engine control system to manage the power network by means of algorithms that make real-time decisions about how to handle energy demand as well as reduce thermal loads, which will prolong component life. This is aided by the fully integrated heat management system, an exhaust reheat system with improved efficiency, and a lighter, aerodynamically optimized fan that's made of temperature-resistant composites. The aerospace company Leonardo is responsible for electronics and avionics. They are developing a new radar system for Tempest. Whatever concepts they have put in the public domain, the new radar system will be mind-boggling. It is called the Multifunction Radio Frequency System. It is claimed to be able to handle 10,000 times more data than existing systems, processing as much data per second as the entire internet traffic of a city the size of Edinburgh. BAE Systems is seeking to make the jet fighter cockpit of tomorrow a much simpler place by replacing conventional instruments and controls with a virtual reality system. This wearable cockpit would use artificial intelligence and eye tracking technology to allow pilots to control their aircraft simply by looking and gesturing. The sixth generation fighter interior will be dominated by wide expanses of blank plastic panels with only a few of the most vital readouts and controls available. Engineers need to think about what controls are critical to the pilot and then make them easier to manage. I Eye tracking gives you the option of looking at something to highlight it and then making a gesture to press a button. Rather than having a series of physical buttons on the aircraft, BAE Systems has unveiled the futuristic smart factory that will be used to develop and manufacture Britain's Tempest fighter jet. Built as a first-of-its-kind factory, the new facility at Wharton, Lancashire combines robotics with other advanced technologies that will allow production lines to adapt much faster by removing the need for slow expensive retooling. One of the biggest bottlenecks for the modern aerospace industry is that conventional engineering and manufacturing techniques are far too slow for a rapidly changing world, where once whole new models of aircraft could be rolled out on an almost yearly basis. Modern aircraft, especially warplanes, can take decades or even generations to go into service, with many becoming obsolete before their numbers even come up to strength. The result of a multi-million pound investment involving 40 blue chip and SME companies, along with academic institutions, the new BAE facility uses off-the-shelf robotic technology, picked by light technology, 3D printing and virtual and augmented reality. The key to this is kabotics, that is, figuring out how humans can collaborate seamlessly with robots. In this scenario, flexible robots take on the heavy lifting and can shift quickly from one process to another without the need for conventional retooling. According to BAE, modern aircraft design requires precision on the scale of a third of the width of a human hair, so the off-the-shelf robots will require modifications to get them up to speed. But when the factory is up and running, such automation will allow operators to concentrate on higher skilled and strategic tasks, while managers can oversee operations from a fully digitized, virtual office. The result is the capability to deliver combat aircraft cheaply and in half the time. 